So landing pages, what are they and how do you use them? Getting right into it, landing pages are standalone web pages designed for a specific marketing or promotional purpose, typically with a focused call to action. They're used to drive visitor engagement and conversions by providing relevant information and guiding users toward a desired action, such as making a purchase or filling out a form. And to further explain that, I'm going to give you a few examples here. So there is a very big difference when it comes to, say, landing pages and like websites. If you've been on a website before, you'll notice there's just so many things going on. There's a lot of actions. There's a lot of options. There's ads. There's navigation bars. There's links everywhere. But here's an example of a landing page, like from a, a zoomed up view, right? A 30,000 foot view. It's going to be an opt-in page. If you've ever seen this before, it has something that usually you want. And there's going to be an option where you can either have like your name or at least your email address, right? So what happens here is you enter in your email address and then you get taken to the next page and let's say you just download it. So here is going to be the main goal here. You just want to generate leads. Okay. This is very important compared to say a website, because when you go to a website, as explained before, there's so many things to do. As I talked about in my definition, what difference a landing page and makes them unique is that there's one specific focused action. Whenever you create a landing page, you want to think to yourself, what is the main goal of this? Am I looking to generate leads? Am I looking to make a sale? Am I looking to have someone get on a phone call, have a consultation, reach out to me, send me a Facebook message, whatever it's going to be, and usually just want to focus on that. Okay. So let me give you one more example or maybe two more. So here's another one. We have a sales page. I'm sure you've seen sales pages before. If you want to buy something online where what it'll say is like, this is where you're going to be getting it has everything on it. And then of course, the idea here is that you click on the add to cart button or like click here to continue, click here to check out whatever it's going to be. Right. So you see this, you maybe you watch the video, you're enticed, you want to buy it, and then you go from there. After that, what we can do is go to the order page. Okay. So this is going to be obviously when you combine, or maybe not so obviously, when you combine landing pages together, you create is what's called a sales funnel or just a funnel. So for this, the main idea here is we want to make a sale, right? But you're going to need two landing pages for that for the most part, right? So this, the main idea here is to like provide interest and increase the opportunity or chances of someone purchasing. And by doing that, they click on the add to car button. And from there, they go to the order page, which I'm sure once again, you've seen before a separate page where you can enter, say your name, your email, maybe your address and like your information for PayPal or your card, whatever it's going to be. And that's how you make the purchase. So as you can see here with every different type of landing page, there's usually going to be a different type of action. I'll go a little bit further. Okay. Someone orders and from there, they go to an upsell one-time offer. So what's the main goal here? Well, to make another purchase after the original purchase. It's kind of like saying, would you like fries with that? So if someone ordered a, I don't know, a course about how to start Facebook ads, right? This was going to be on the order page. They purchase it. The upsell could be like, hey, here is a done for you case study where I show you over my shoulder how I turn $1 into two using Facebook ads. So here it's just going to be a course. Here's going to be an over the shoulder, like look at a successful campaign that's kind of like quote unquote done for you. So that's an upsell. It's related, but kind of different enough where it's going to increase interest, obviously, where someone can buy it. So once again, that's going to be the unique goal there. I think you get the idea, right? That's what landing pages are, are all about. There's usually one main goal in mind, and from there can stem onto other landing pages that help increase even more goals compared to a website where everything is everywhere. I mean, you can just list off so many different distractions when it comes to a website, but landing pages typically don't have them unless they're not really done well. Okay. So Hope that answers your question. Of course, if you want to try creating some landing pages yourself, I will leave a link down below for a free trial for a very good landing page and sales funnel builder. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.